Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. A friend of mine named Mike sent me a note last night, said, Steve, check this out. This is insane. And, and he would know <laughs> because uh, he has legal training and legal education. And uh, I'm a lawyer, and he recognized the fact that I would spot how crazy this is. And what we're talking about is a story out of Florida. And it's going to be all over the news today and in the days to come. Uh, and I have a copy of a bill in front of me. Just a bill up on Capitol Hill down there in Florida. And uh, it's been covered by so many places overnight. Uh, when I went to bed last night, there were not many stories about it this morning. Boom, they're everywhere. And so I'm going to give you the version of the story from The Hill, thehill.com. And this is about such an absurd bill. I don't know if this will become law, but it's going to be all over the news the next few days. So you, you should be aware of this. Florida bill would require bloggers to register before writing about DeSantis. Now, it's not just DeSantis. It's anybody in the government who's elected. If you want to blog about them, you've got to apparently go to Florida and register. <laughs> Julia Mueller wrote this version of the uh, story about that bill. The bill proposed this week by a state senator in Florida would require bloggers who write about the governor, his cabinet officers, or members of the Florida legislature to register with the state. Bloggers who receive compensation for a given online post about an elected state officer would have to register with the Florida Office of Legislative Services or the Commission on Ethics, though the requirement would not extend to the websites of newspapers or other news agencies. Just bloggers, just bloggers. If a blogger posts to a blog post about an elected state officer and receives or will receive compensation for that post, the blogger must register with the appropriate office within five days after the first 164 by the blogger, which mentions an elected state officer. What? <laughs> if additional posts about elected state officials are to be posted, the blogger would have to file monthly reports detailing where, when, and by whom the post is published, plus the amount of compensation received. Failure to file reports could lead to fines. The elected state officers covered by the proposed information dissemination bill are defined as the governor, the lieutenant governor, a cabinet officer, or any member of the legislature. A blog is defined in the bill as a website or web page that hosts any blogger and is frequently updated with opinion, commentary, or business content, and a blog post as an individual web page on a blog which contains an article, a story, or a series of stories. And the Hills reached out to the governor's office for comment, didn't have one at press time. But somebody asked the guy behind this bill, who is Jason Brodeur, uh, what's going on here? And he said, and this is the quote they got him for, uh, saying, if lobbyists have to register and report, why shouldn't paid bloggers? If lobbyists have to register and report, why shouldn't paid bloggers? Why Why shouldn't garbage men? Why shouldn't janitors? <laughs> why, why shouldn't senators? I mean, so here's the thing. Some people apparently, and I, I looked into the background on this guy, Jason Brodeur, to see if perhaps um, he's a lawyer or has any legal background, and he, he isn't and he doesn't. And so I suspect that might be part of the problem here, that he doesn't understand that the government uh, is still governed by the Constitution, even in Florida. And uh, the Constitution has uh, the Bill of Rights attached to it, which contains roughly 10 amendments. And the First Amendment talks about the freedom of the press. And the freedom of the press uh, has been uh, addressed by the Supreme Court a couple times uh, in our long history. And the, the freedom of the press uh, pretty much says that uh, people who do reporting uh, are protected uh, and cannot be, uh, you know, uh, uh, hassled uh, like this. <laughs> I'm having, I'm having such a hard time with this. It's just, it's just. I, I honestly thought someone was pulling my leg. I, I, Mike's a good guy, and when he sent me the notes, said, "Steve, have you seen this proposed bill out of Florida?" I thought it was an Onion article. I did. So I printed the bill off. It's Senate Bill 1316 from the Florida Senate 2023 by Senator Brodeur, first name Jason, and it's entitled "A Bill to Be Entitled: An Act Relating to Information Dissemination." And then the, the this is the title. The title is actually a whole page long. And by the way, I'm not going to make fun of that because many states have requirements that the title actually explain what the bill does to such an extent that quite often the titles become uh, like a shortened version of the bill itself. But you get down to the section that matters, and it goes section three, 
And this is a brand new section called Blogger Registration and Reporting. And it says, as used in this section, the term blog means a website or web page that hosts any blogger and is frequently updated with opinion, etc. So you ask yourself, well, then what's a blogger? Because blog is defined as a site that hosts a blogger. Well, a blogger means any person as defined in, and it gives you a section. You go over that section and it just says a person is an adult, a child, an organization, a corporation. So apparently, pretty much anybody is a blogger. Because if you look at the definition that they send you to, it's the same definition of a person. But then it says that submits a blog post to a blog. But remember, a blog is a website that hosts a blogger. (laughs) So you ask yourself, wait, what, what, huh? Like, like, okay. So then it talks about a blog post is an individual web page on a blog which contains an article. So that pretty much describes the entire internet is blog posts, right? I, I mean, an individual web page on a blog which contains, and, and remember, a blog is a website or web page that hosts a blogger. So it's got this bizarre circular definitional reasoning. It's like a dog chasing its tail here. And then it says, um, elected state officer means the governor, the lieutenant governor, cabinet officer, any member of the legislature, and so on. And then it says, of course, if a blogger posts to a blog about an elected state officer <laughs> and receives or will receive compensation, the blogger must register. And then upon registering, the blogger must file monthly reports. And it says, um, if a blogger posts to a blog about an elected state official, what's a post about someone? Just mentioning them? Because I'll have you know, I've mentioned Jason Brodeur now several times. So I will come right out right now and confess, I am blogging about Jason Brodeur, Florida Senator. I am, I confess, I am blogging about Jason Brodeur, Florida Senator, right now. I'm going to post this video, and whether or not this law is clear enough to define this, I'm going to concede that this video is a blog. And I will not defend this by claiming that YouTube is not a blog page. Okay, or a blog site or blog, whatever they, whatever he talks about here. Okay, so if they were to come to me and say, Steve, you posted a blog uh, and you're a blogger and uh, your blog is on uh, a website, which is YouTube, I will concede that. I will concede that. Come get me. Come get me. Compensation includes anything of value provided to a blogger uh, and uh, so on. So then if I blog about somebody like Jason Brodeur in Florida... I'm supposed to then register in Florida and tell them how much money I got paid. We'll cover that in a second because that might be a problem. But I'd also like to point out (laughs) that the definitional section doesn't define what a web page is and doesn't define what the word published means. But for the purposes of our argument, I will concede right now that this video is a blog post. I am a blogger. And YouTube is a blog for the purposes of this. I would never, I would never dispute any of those things. And right now, I am blogging about Jason Brodeur. Okay, so I'm also going to let you know that if this bill gets passed, I am not going to Florida to register as a blogger. And I am going to continue blogging about the brilliant people in Florida who are considering this bill. Now, I understand that I've got some viewers in Florida. I am not making fun of the people of Florida. I'm not even making fun of their legislature. I am simply poking fun at the one guy who didn't get the memo about the First Amendment. And so Jason Brodeur apparently doesn't realize that journalists and journalism are sacred in America. You might not like what they publish about you. You might not. But guess what? That's the cost of doing business in America. We've got free speech. We've got a free press. So I can criticize pretty much anybody I want to, especially those in politics, as long as I avoid libel and slander, right? You should know that. And so the notion that you can pick one group of people and say, okay, we're going to make these people register so we can track them (laughs) is so absurd that it's beyond the pale. Like I said, I honestly thought that this note from my friend was a joke. I thought it was a joke. And what's even funnier about it is that it exempts the traditional mainstream press. <laughs> now, I know there's going to be somebody out there going to say, but Steve, have you seen what these bloggers write? No, I haven't. I haven't. I don't, <laughs> I don't go looking for blog sites that are critical of politicians in Florida. But apparently, some blogger out there has gotten 
a burr underneath Jason Brodeur, <laughs> and, he, and he's decided to pass a bill to, to harass them. I, that's, that's all I can think. Why else would somebody come up with this? But he said if lobbyists have to register and report, why shouldn't paid bloggers? But journalists are paid too. We know they're paid, right? Journalists are paid. Why would they be exempted? So you're going to regulate one part of the press differently than the other part of the press. And that gets you to an equal protection question, which is elsewhere in that pesky little thing we call the Constitution. But beyond that, this obviously would never withstand scrutiny at any level. So if they were to actually pass this bill into law, it would get tested immediately and shot down. Now, would it survive one or two rounds in a, in a, in a local court with a friendly judge? Possibly, possibly, but I, I find that even hard to believe. So the headline, Florida bill would require bloggers to register before writing about DeSantis, is actually low key. I found a bunch that said things like, this crazy bill from Florida is just as stupid as you think it is. Uh, and <laughs> there's going to be more coming. So here's a couple things. I've already told you that I'm willing to concede that I'm a blogger. And this video is a blog post. And YouTube is a blog. And this video is about Senator Brodeur. Okay, so this isn't like you're a Sylvain by Carly Simon where I'm not going to tell you who it's about. This blog is about Jason Brodeur. Okay, now some people say, Steve... We know what you're doing here. You're not being overtly paid for this blog post. Is that what you're going to hide behind? No. And here's why. I have a Patreon account that I have up specifically for people who subscribe to my iTunes channel where there's no advertising. And a while back, I said, if you want to support that separately, kick in a couple bucks and that'll defray my costs of running that channel, which has no advertising on it. When this video goes live, I'm going to put the Patreon account in the description to the video. All I need is one person to Patreon me $1 and put in the description for your blog. As soon as I get $1 from one person, I'm going to take that link down. Okay? So whoever pays me the $1 will get to become my employer <laughs> for my blog post. And I'm going to say that that payment is for this video. Okay? So... I will be explicitly paid $1 to post this blog on a blog site, whatever their wacky definitions were. I've already forgotten them. And, and so that way, I will qualify as an offending blogger, okay? And number two, and this is important, and, I, and I, by the way, I, I realize some people might think I'm, I'm poking too much fun at this and not taking it seriously enough. I am taking this very seriously. And so many of you might know that I enjoy uh, talking, <laughs> So for the next couple weeks, I am willing to appear on anybody's channel, TV station, radio station, newspaper interview, or other YouTube channel. If you've got a YouTube channel that addresses topics like this, send me a note and put in the subject line, your blog. And I will clear my calendar for the next few days, and I will blog with you all you want about Jason Brodeur. And if you are a reporter for a TV station, radio station, I don't care. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, <laughs> I don't care if you've got a radio station in Medicine Hat, okay? I want to come on and talk about Jason Brodeur, and we'll call it a blog. But I think that this is one of those things where this can't be serious. But they float it to probably pass it and probably harass a couple bloggers to the point where they might want to get out of business. Good news is that there are organizations out there that would probably come to their defense on principle. So I'm not that worried about this law ever becoming the law of the land. <laughs> but I'm obviously not worried about it either in a sense I'm not going to go to Florida and register to become a blogger. <laughs> but I am going to continue blogging about Jason Brodeur. So again, I just need one person, one person to Patreon me, $1. I'll take the link down. And then if you've got a YouTube channel, a blog, newspaper, radio station, TV station, whatever you've got. I'm, I'm, I'm busy these days. I've actually got another project I just started. I'm writing another book. I will put that aside for the next few days to, to take care of anybody who wants to blog with me about Jason Brodeur and this insane anti-blogging law out of Florida. And by the way, some people say, Steve, he's not trying to put them out of business. He's forcing them to register and file reports. <laughs> 
<laughs> Just what we need. More government regulation. Okay? So there you go. So that's the story. I will continue to blog. <laughs> give me blog or give me you know what. Florida bill would require bloggers to register before writing about politicians. The Hill, Julia Mueller. And remember, if lobbyists have to register and report, why shouldn't paid bloggers? That's the, the legal genius of Jason Brodeur. Questions or comments, and I need $1. Put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. Every sunset is an opportunity to reset.